Shore, but where will it fall? It's in a Limerick hand. It's taken clear. It's all over. Limerick have done it. Limerick have won it. And they get the fairy tale finish after 45 years. Madeir with the Liam McCarthy Cup. So in 2018 we probably had one of the best hurling championships of all time. A new round robin format in both Leinster and Munster hurling championships would make the championship as competitive as ever with some enthralling encounters playing out across both provinces. In fact the Munster championship was probably as competitive as it had ever been as you had five counties who all had a reasonable show at bringing the title home, especially now in the newly improved format. Firstly, you had the 2017 Munster Champions Cork, who had all-stars like Patrick Horgan in their ranks. Of course, Waterford had players like Austin Gleeson and had played in the 2017 All-Ireland Final. Tipperary and Clare were both serious threats as well. They had each played in All-Ireland Finals in the past five to six years and each had All-Ireland winning hurlers in their team and on any given day could beat anyone. And then you had Limerick the team who had seen success at minor and under 21 level in the previous five years but had yet to really get going at senior level and in many ways were considered the team to finish bottom of the championship that year by many fans and pundits. And although they did have experienced players like Declan Hannan and Shane Dowling for example, who both played in the 2013 Munster title win over Cork, perhaps the luck on the day went against them or they were competing in perhaps one of the most competitive eras in hurling at senior level. So, when Limerick won the 2018 All-Ireland Championship beating Galway by a point, it is perhaps seen as one of the great All-Ireland victories as when you look back at Limerick's journey, it truly is the story of a county who made its people believe and dream once again that the Lee McCarthy Cup would be coming back to Limerick for the first time in 45 years. So how did Limerick manage such an achievement? Well, the first thing worth pointing out is that although Limerick hadn't won an All-Ireland at senior level in 45 years, the squad had all tasted success at some point already, be it at different levels. In 2013, Limerick won their first Munster title in 17 years after a 9-point victory over Cork at the Gaelic grounds with the likes of Declan Hannan and Shane Dowling putting in star performances, both of whom would have a significant impact on Limerick's All-Ireland triumph five years later. And a win like that would have given the experienced players in the team that experience and confidence in the big games at big moments. Something we would see evidence of when Limerick would have to come from behind against the likes of Kilkenny and Cork in that 2018 All-Ireland success. And Limerick would also boast an exceptional academy system that would lead the minors to All-Ireland final appearances in both 2014 and 2016. And in fact in the 2014 final when Limerick lost by 4 points to Kilkenny, they did have some key performances on the day from the likes of Tom Morrissey, Keane Lynch and Seamus Flanagan to name a few who would each have a significant role to play in 2018. In 2016, when Limerick lost by 5 points in that year's All-Ireland Minor Final to Tipperary, it involved the likes of Kyle Hayes and Barry Nash who would both earn scores on the day. And that experience from these players at minor level undoubtedly had an impact on improving Limerick at senior level as having played in high pressure moments and big games as a young player. In fact, the Limerick manager John Coyley can be quoted as saying, the experience is huge and without it those players would not have developed how they did. And of course the Miners were not the only Limerick side that would taste a level of success and in fact the under 21 team would win two All-Irelands in both 2015 and 2017. In the 2017 final when they beat Kilkenny by 6 points, it included a man of the match performance from Aaron Galan who of course would go on to win an All-Star for Limerick's 2018 All-Ireland success. And this showed in many ways that Limerick were a team that was ready to have a real go at the All-Ireland Championship at senior level. The player success at minor and under 21 level meant that Limerick already knew how to navigate important matches against the likes of Cork, Kilkenny and Galway for example. But of course success at under 21 and minor level can sometimes mean nothing. We have seen many counties down the years in both football and hurling who have seen success at underage level and have not been able to replicate it at senior level. So what makes Limerick that bit different to those counties? Well I suppose first of all we have to mention the wide influence of the manager John Kiley who has had a significant impact on the development of these players. 
John will already have a good relationship with a lot of these players by the time he would become manager of the Limerick side as John was part of the management team that seen them win the Munster title back in 2013 and was also the manager of the under 21 team that won the All-Ireland in 2015 over Wexford. John was no more than a squad player for Limerick in his playing days, but his knowledge and dedication to the sport meant he kept in close contact with senior members of the Limerick County Board. In 2009, when Limerick were beaten by Tipperary by 24 points, he immediately begun his pursuit to get involved and help out at any level he could. From there, John began his journey into management and was part of the team that won the 2013 Munster Championship and was the under-21 manager back in 2015 that beat Wexford by 16 points in that year's under-21 All-Ireland Final. And by the time the 2018 season came around, John had already been the manager of the senior team for two seasons, gaining that bit more experience required to lead Limerick to glory that year. And John is a man whose principles are focused on team unity, strength and focusing more on the collective group rather than individual talents. He was always willing to put the team and group ahead of anything and has said in the past the respect that each other player has for each other is more important than any all Ireland title they will ever win. And in my opinion this is something that allowed the Limerick players to play without pressure and have the freedom on the pitch that they might not have had otherwise. They also work very well as a team and we can see evidence of that from when they trail both Kilkenny and Cork and have to fight back to get the victory on those days. Limerick is a team that presses high up when they don't have the ball and when they have possession they move the ball quickly and focus on the accuracy of their forwards to get the scores they need on the day. And the fact that John had worked with the majority of these players at some stage during his management career to me means that he knew each individual player and how exactly to get the best out of each of them. And when you factor all this together it meant that Limerick were too hot to handle for any county who played them in 2018. And as the unknown quantity they capitalised in moments when other teams had let their guard down. Their performance in the final against Galway was exceptional with 12 different players on the day scoring with Aaron Glan and Kyle Hayes the standout players on the day. And even when Galway narrowed an 8 point deficit to 1 point in injury time, they still kept their composure and belief that they would eventually get over the line. And when Joe Canning's last minute free dropped short and was snatched by the Limerick defence, they finally had the moment every Limerick fan had waited for. 45 years of waiting for the Liam McCarthy Cup was finally over. Limerick were All-Ireland Champions 2018. What's going on everyone? Thank you very much for watching this video. Of course, uh, do hit the like button, hit that subscribe button. Let me know down in the comments below what you thought of Limerick's 2018 All-Ireland success. Um, as I said before, of course, at the start of the video, you know, when we look back in the last decade, I think Limerick's All-Ireland success is up there as one of the greatest All-Ireland successes we've seen um, in that decade in the sport. I think, you know, there's multiple uh, All-Ireland wins you can look at in hurling that could be up there, specifically um, obviously Clare in 2013 which is something I'm going to be looking at as well um, but yeah I suppose to summarize I think in total Limerick just had the the belief and the you know the spirit inside themselves to actually go ahead and win this All-Ireland and you know when you look at the players they produced at under 21 level and of course at minor level I think in many ways um, that experience that those players had the games that they played coming up against the likes of the Kilkennys, the Galways, the Corks, it, it made a massive difference and of course you know John Kiley being you know well respected uh, manager of course in the Limerick setup already he knew how to get the best of that team without doubt so uh, obviously we've seen Limerick go on win the uh, uh, league the National League in 2019 and win a Munster Championship in 2019 and yeah you know I think this is something that we could easily revisit um, in five to ten years because I think Limerick are probably going to go, go on to win more All-Irelands they're probably going to go on to win more Munster Championships, National Leagues. Um, of course, hurling right now is the most competitive it has ever been in my lifetime anyway. You know, you've got so many counties there who all have a chance. Tipperary, Galway, Kilkenny, uh, Clare and Cork are always not far off as well. So, yeah, lads, of course, I'm going to wrap this up here. If you have enjoyed, hit the like button, hit the subscribe button. Have a lovely weekend. Have a lovely Sunday. And, yeah, lads, I will speak to you all soon. Goodbye.